Denae followed by Eddie Lorton. Sam Denae, the Encyclopedia of Reno Government. Sam Denae is a business, a Reno business, a philanthropical business. I have Sam Denae, that's me. Oh, by the way, earlier I recommended, nominated that young man to be the permanent chief of police. And I said that under the theory that I have not seen any of the other applicants until I see somebody better than him. I nominate him. I nominated Steve Pitts. Steve, you hired Steve Pitts. So do the same thing. Follow Sam's directives and hire that man permanently. Save this multi-thousands of dollars. You're trying to talk about saving money for the local businesses and everything else. Save the money. Forget about that search. We've got a man right here. I've never seen so many people come to support somebody in my entire 20 years of watching this operation. I wait for the day when the citizens of Reno come to their senses, get over, and the media mouses get over their fear and jealousy of Sam Denae, and I have the media mouses down here clamoring to interview Sam Denae, the brilliant Sam Denae. Uh, as, as relative to that Edon operation, Colonel Kazmierski knows that much of his success, much of his, his success is related to the fact that he recruited Sam Denae to be a semi-spokesman for Edon recruitment. August 29th, no, August 19th, last year, he recruited me to bring Tesla to Reno. Two weeks later, Kazmierski, Colonel Kaz calls up and says, Sam, guess what? Edon is, I mean, uh, Edon, Tesla is coming to Reno. He was just ecstatic about it. He even went so far as to be the only bureaucrat in the history of Reno to go publicly and thank Sam Denae. He's the one man in town who does not, the one bureaucrat in town who is not so deathly afraid and jealous of Sam Denae. He knows that nice chortle over there, smiley face. Yeah, he knows that Sam was the driving force. He's, he's done his research. Sam Denae, that's me, Air Force B-52 bomber pilot, Air Force Academy graduate, spent many years flying for Pan American Airways till they were blown out of business by the terrorists. And ever since 1994, about the time I met Mr. Asher, if he thinks back to when we met 20 years ago, I've been to 99.7% of the city council, county commission, airport meetings. I do not go to the Edon meetings because they do not have a public comment period, which is not right. They, they're a publicly funded operation. The, uh, the Reno Gazette should have to have obey the open media law. They're publicly funded, but those media mouses get away with more than the rest of the organization. And by the way, I pick on you people often, but it's not really your fault. If the media mouses, if the Reno Gazette media mouses weren't so deathly afraid and jealous of Sam, they would be reporting his erudite ideas and truths, and the city would not be in this pickle that it's in, where you have to have the local people coming, begging to you to challenge Home Depot and Office Depot. Pretty soon those guys are going to be at this po these podiums.